Hello, today we are gonna work more on our security camera such as adding a 3D model and a more control for our security camera. Here is an overview, it will now rotate if you want the camera to do that, showroom names, the currently selected camera will be an orange button and they do have a 3D model. Anyway, on to the project, create a folder, this is where we will store the model. Link is in the description for the camera used. For the import settings, make sure that combine meshes is not ticked. Then just import it as normal. Once you have the models imported, open up your security camera blueprint. We need to now need to add the static mesh components. Add in a static mesh, there will be some messy reordering, make sure the camera handle is parented to the root, by dragging the component onto the default scene root component. Next, the camera static mesh is parented to the handle. Make some adjustments to put the camera onto its place. You can copy my values if you are using this model. After this, parent the actual camera component to the camera model. This way, if we were to add the rotating feature, the camera itself will move with the mesh. You will need to rotate and put the camera the right way. Finally, the actual handle itself is not really rotated the right way we need to make sure the rotation values are all zero for the handle. Same with the location. You can add a debug arrow component if you want to know if the camera is facing the right way. Test if the camera is in the right place and then we can continue with rotating the camera. In the event graph, add a timeline, name it rotating camera, and in here. You want to get your camera mesh, and set relative rotation, now we can split the struct by right clicking on the new rotation input. This will mean we can get the float values and we want to only change the Z. We can use a lerp to go from one rotation to another smoothly. We can use the timeline to set the length of a full rotation. Add a float track, the button with the left or F at the top. We can name this timeline alpha. The length of the timeline will be 25 seconds, you can make it however long you want. This won't be about teaching timeline basics. I may make another video on that. But for now just place down the keyframes at certain areas between the number 0 and 1 so that it makes this shape. For accuracy, you can put it on the time and value. The 0 will be the starting position and 1 will be the final position. I want it to go from A to B, but then back again. Then select all the keyframes by dragging. Right click and select auto so that it smooths it out. At the top there are check boxes, enable loop, and for now, for testing, we can enable auto play. After that go back to the event graph. We can now connect the float from the timeline to the lerp value of alpha. Now to figure out the A and B value. I am gonna just quickly visualize this in the viewport and see how much I want it to rotate. Since this is relative rotation, the A and B can be the values you see in the viewport. I have chosen 50 and minus 50. Now we are done with the rotation, we can test to see if it works. As it works, we can now disable the auto play, I want it so we can choose if the camera rotates or not. We can use a boolean variable to that. I will use an event begin play, and from there a branch. The condition will be can rotate. We can then get our timeline variable in the variables section and get the play node. Also for some randomization, we can add a delay with a random integer in range. Now the can rotate variable, I want to control this in the editor, so for I can do this by making it instance editable. Now in the editor, I can choose which cameras can rotate, and which cannot. Now, we have rotation done, I want to work on the user interface. Go to your security camera interface, and add in a text widget. Give it a variable name, and tick the is variable box. This is all you need here, 
you can keep the text empty or write in a default room name. Next, in your BP camera, add a text variable called room name or something, and tick that I option so it's instance editable. I want to edit the name in the game viewport. Now go to your single camera button widget, the one with one button. In here, we can get the player view widget reference and get the security camera widget. From there you can get your room name text, that we made. We can now set text and we can simply put the input using the camera get, and get the camera name text variable. One more bug check, open up your player main view widget, which is where we open up the security camera. The room name changes when we press the buttons, but we haven't set it up to update the name when we open the security camera widget. To fix this, find where you open the widget and then just go to this W security camera node, and get room name and from there we can do a set text. We do a similar thing here, from your camera array get node we can just get the camera name variable. That should be it for room names. Just go to your game view, and select each camera, and in the details panel, write the camera name and then test it. If you have problems, comment below. Our final feature will be to know which camera you selected. You could simply just add it onto the room name, but I am gonna just color in which camera you selected. We can do this by going into your single camera button. From that security camera widget, you can get the grid panel, which has all of our buttons. Then we get all children and USA for each loop. We will then from array element do a cast to W camera button which is our single button widget. From the is blue return node, get the camera button and we want to set background color to our main color. I would suggest something like a dark gray. Then we want to get our current camera button from the variables section and do another set background color and this will be our selected button color. We want to do the same to the player view, so once we open the security camera, it updates the first camera. Grabbing the widget cam button and set color of it to the selected color. Ok let's test the game, and we have a slight bug where the camera color is not update properly. The easiest fix is just to get this code we created and turn it into a function. I will select the nodes I need, copy and then paste it somewhere else and delete the old section. Create a custom function and call it update button color. Then paste the code here and just connect it accordingly. Now we need to give this grid panel an input, which we do by dragging the node onto the custom event to create a new input. Now we can use this event instead. So go to the top again where you deleted the code call the function and the input would be the W security camera. Next go to the player view and we can call the function here too. And connect this to the input. These functions and methods will improve over time. I just want to help you understand making a prototype and then getting to expanding our code. You can now compile and test. You should have some nice improvements to the camera. That's all for now, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and see you next time.